Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Welcome. Check it out. We are heading up to Alamo Lake State Park. Been wanting to come up here for a long time. That sign said 38 miles. We got a long ways to go yet. This lake is out in the middle of the desert, literally. I've had friends that come up here for years. Look at that big farm on the right. All right, let's get there. Pretty good road so far. It's all been paved. Look at the size of that cactus there. That thing is huge. Here's another one. Hey, power lines. Yay. <laughs> Someone's back here. But they're everywhere. Those things are big. Cool. Let's keep on trucking. Yeah, it's almost as far from Highway 60 as it is from Quartzsite to Wendon. <laughs> Humans. Look at that. Trucks and trailers. They must have their uh, ATVs out. Here's a dirt road with a sign. Wayside Oasis. Had a picture of a UTV on there. Oh, I bet it's everywhere. Trails out here everywhere. All right, we should be getting closer. Gotta be. <laughs> I see water way off in the distance. Camera's probably not picking it up. We gotta be getting close. Big sign. Fee based. All vehicles must register. I got a reservation out here. I didn't know if I needed it or not, but I made one. Oh, gotta get a picture of the sign. Let's check it out. Alamo Lake State Park. There. <laughs> Can't see it yet. Well, they got campgrounds online, reservable. There's their phone number. But look at this place. I mean, we are out in the middle of nothing. <laughs> Welcome to the desert with a lake. Well, I really don't know where I'm going out here, so we'll just kind of fumble our way around here. <laughs> they got to have signs. What's this? We want rangers. We want to go straight. Showed campsites down there. We'll check that out. We'll come back to that. Let's go find the ranger station first. Lakes down the hill off to the right. Camera's not picking it up yet. We'll get pictures of it soon. Yay, here we are. Registration. There's somebody leaving. Well, let's get parked, walk around a minute, check out the signs. Welcome to Alamo Reservoir, Corps of Engineers, Arizona State Park, here's their fees, electric 22, hookups 25, dry camp 15. Alright, let's go down and check out, see what else we can find. I'll stop at the ranger station down here, their store or whatever, and see what's up. 
There's the lake straight ahead. Looks like housing for the workers off to the right. Mobile homes. This must be where you check in. Cool. Let's go check in. <laughs> All right, well, I'm way early. That's all right, I want to run around and we're video this place a little bit. <laughs> Look at that guy. Where's the water? All right. Well, she said there's a boat ramp down at the end. We'll check that out. Then we'll go back to the other side, that road we drove past. There's supposed to be another boat ramp and a campground back there. Then somewhere around here, there's the dam that creates the lake with an overlook. All these sites off to the right, there's your hookup sites. What'd that sign say? 22 bucks for electric and full hookup was 25. Then they got dry camping all over. I could see rigs all over the place driving in here. All right, let's go down to water. Looks like a boat ramp to me. I'll find a place to park. We'll get a few pictures. There's nothing better than the video of people launching boats. <laughs> Everybody. That can be comical in a heartbeat. This looks good as any. I see picnic tables. Watch out for rattlesnakes. Here we go. Well, this is Alamo Lake. A few picnic tables down here. You can watch the boats go in and out. Yeah, some people get so mad when they launch boats. Got quite a few. I bet fishing. I bet they stock this lake. Quite a few boat and trailers. There's nowhere else around the boat. I mean, you got Phoenix or Lake Havasu. But in the desert, lakes are few and far between for boating and fishing like this. Pretty. Nice place. Here comes one in. Well, let's do this. Let's run back over to that road I passed up. We'll check that one out. It's supposed to be a boat launch over there. Then we'll go find that overlook in the dam. It's not as big as what I thought it would be here. But once again, I mean, we are out in the middle of nothing. <laughs> Big body of water in the middle of the desert. It's getting hot today, too. It, temperatures are heating up. I bet it's be in the 90s here easily today. They had food items in that store there on the left. Ice. A lot of like t-shirts, fishing stuff. It's pretty good, but if you really need supplies, you're gonna have to go a ways out here. Be sure you bring them with you. All right. Well, let's go back. We'll find that other uh, boat launch and campground. Yay. Here it is here. We drove past that earlier. It's quite a ways down to the water. I'd say a good couple miles from up here. All kinds of rigs off to the right. 
Looks like those have hookups. There's a big uh, restroom. Wow, there's a lot of rigs here. This is a whole bunch bigger than over by that uh, ranger station. Well, I think this is the launch. I don't know how far down I can go. Yeah, this is a small boat launch. Okay, I'm going to turn around. We'll go back. Yeah, I don't want to get tied up down there. there. That guy's launching a boat. All right. Let's go check out some of those campsites we passed up. Once again, this is Alamo, Lake Alamo State Park. Campground, fishing, boating. I bet they'd stock this lake. I bet it's good fishing. They got to. Well, here's a little camp area. These are their dry camps. Kind of up on a little hill. Let's uh, check it out. These are the ones that cost 15 bucks, I think. These are pretty nice. Probably closer you get to the water, the busier it gets. They're all numbered. Get a picnic table. A little fire pit. Now you can see more rigs off in the distance, way down by the lake. What a pretty day, but it is getting warm. It's got to be close to 90 now. Cool. Back to the air-conditioned van. Yay. Well, if you're in the boat and you can really see across, it's not a huge lake. Look at the mountains on the other side, but this is, I keep saying they're out in the middle of nothing, but it is. There's some rivers that come out of northern Arizona that feed this. I think it actually connects with the Bill Williams River and dumps into Lake Havasu. But you can just see how vast and open desert it is. Then you got the big lake. Very popular. I've known a lot of people that come up here and love it. Especially if you got a boat, kayak, canoe, any of that. Be perfect. Let's drive down here a little bit, circle around, check out the neighborhood. See cones on sites, that's, they must reserve them like that. So you definitely need reservations, you want to come up here. Pretty good, you're kind of spread out decent. You'll still have all the generators and dogs barking and all that. Of course you get that at any campground. They got their ATV parked right there. They got a Jeep. Pretty cool. Kind of the perfect time of year to come here. 
much later it's going to be hot. All right, well, I'm going to find a place to turn around. Ooh, I see a ranger no, pickup. I need to ask him. I'm going to stop a sec. I want to find out where that overlook is in that dam. Let me see if I can't flag him down a second. I'll be right back. Well, Mr. Ranger, we got to go way back on the other side. <laughs> he said there's a huge overlook that you can see the entire lake. He goes, it's really nice up there. They got benches and picnic tables and all that. So let's go find it. All right, he said, instead of turning down where the store was, where we were before, right there, go straight. He said it's a little over a mile past this uh, administration building. It's supposed to be a big old dam and overlook for the entire lake. Cool. He said, too, there's wild burrows all over out here because of the water. He said, chances are we'll see some. Yeah, we're climbing up on a hill. Here we go. This is what we want. Here it is, Bill Williams Overlook. This is it. Oh, look at that restroom. Wow, there's the dam, earthen dam. Restrooms. There's the lake. Nice. Now we're talking. Oh, there's the overlook. Well, cool. Let's go for a walk. It's quite a ways down there. A few hundred feet. Let's see what this big sign says. I'm the only one here. Me and that tree. Well, here's all the info on the dam. Earthen dam, height, elevation, top of dam. Not huge, but it's not that big of a lake, but still, we're out in the middle of the desert. 500 acres. Huh. Nice. What's well, going up to that uh, overlook area? This would be perfect for day use. Quite a little drive from like quartzite. Just come out here for the day. You'd probably want to spend the night. They got that road gated off. There you go. Shade. Yay. <laughs> it's getting warm. What we got here? All about the lake. Look at that. Two rivers come in. Creates a lake. Alamo Dam. And it's the Bill Williams River that dumps out into Lake Havasu. Interesting since the 60s.
Well, Mr. Ranger was right. You can see the entire lake from up here. Beautiful. Bet that's deep right there. It's probably where all the fish are. Look at the water line. This lake is down. All of Arizona, it's in uh, extreme drought right now. No rain. For a couple years, no rain. There's someone on a kayak fishing way down there. Look at that. In the north, it says, look at the pyramid looking mountain. Artillery Peak. Shaped like a volcano. Where is it? There it is. Straight north. Right there. Volcano Peak. Huh. Or whatever. Artillery Peak. <laughs> cool. Well, glad I came up here. This is quite a treat. Been wanting to come up here for a long time. Heard a lot about it through the years. It's almost getting to the point where it's getting hot to be dry camping. Oh, to the van we go, where it's air conditioned. Well, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to uh, grab my campsite for the night. This is a fast trip heading out early in the morning, heading out of here. Site B12, and I got one with electric. And in case you're wondering, there's zero cell coverage here. Absolute zero. Look, everyone's got a boat. This is a boater's place for sure. Definitely need a boat. Or ATV. Journey continues. Talk soon.